Uh, I think primarily um, that the nanotechnology slashes the cost um, because it's so much lighter uh, than conventional um, sort of materials. Uh, the amount of capability that we put on a single chip and then integrate into things like iPhones and computers is enormous. Uh, you get a very large amount of capability in almost no mass. Uh, these things are going on at the nanoscale uh, and the scale of these technologies is reducing all of the time. There's an enormous amount of investment and in infrastructure uh, in reducing uh, the size of things like transistors um, and uh, computers. I think the, the primary advantage of switching from crude systems to uncrewed systems is that uh, it's so much lighter, uh, enormously lighter. If you have a crude system, you have to support that person. Uh, you have to have water, you have to have food. And uh, the, uh, uh, the distances and, and the amount of time that it takes to get to those distances are very uh, constrained by that. And uh, when you go to um, sort of a purely robotic uh, spacecraft, uh, you can consider things like this, where you go outside of the solar system and you go on uh, uh, you know, very difficult uh, missions to other stars.